Good day. Today we're going to do lesson nine, grade two, term two. Um, we're still focusing on numbers 31 to 40. Remember, practice makes perfect. Um, first, again, this is the CAPS document. Um, and then you can pause um, at the section where we look at the resources and the dictionary. Um, again, it's just explanation of some of the words. Uh, now we again we can get the children to join us um, and the learners and we're going to start with the daily routine um, we're going to ask again um, whose birthday is it today what is the date what is the time how does it look outside how does the weather look like show me right up left down. Who is absent today? Let's go to counting. So counting, what we're going to do is, which is less, 60 or 90? So let's count in 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, stop. So tell me which is less, 40 or 50? Excellent. So let's carry on. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, stop. Which is less, 70 or 100? Let us count on. So we're going to 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, stop. So which is less, 150 or 110? So you can pause that activity and do similar um, questions with your child. Welcome back. So we're going to do mental mathematics. So with mental mathematics, we got 10 um, sums. Um, so what you're going to do is um, you can ask it orally or the child can write it down or you can write it down and they can answer you orally or they can write it down. So pause now and do this activity. Welcome back. Let's reveal the answers. Quickly mark it. Pause it. And then we can continue. So what we're going to do again is we're going to revise. So here what we have is we have individual cubes and individual sticks. So um, a question to the learners. Um, is it easy to count all of them like this? That it's scattered all over the place? No, no, no. It's much easier to count them if they group together in tens. So here with the rods or groups and bundles of sticks of 10. Because now we can easily, these ones, we can count 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. Or we can say 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. So what we have here now is we have cards with um, blocks on and the numbers again. So you, um, this is also on the worksheet. So I'm going to click on the worksheet. And then it comes up with similar. This is not blocks, but beads. So again, this time they don't need to draw it. They simply just need to give us the answer. They need to count how did they get it. So it's 10, 20, 30. Now I need to fill in 31, 2, 3, 4, 35. Um, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Again, if there is not enough space to write it in here, you need to do it in your writing book. We will prefer you to do it in your writing book. Um, so let's quickly go back to the lesson plan. Um, we did this then, or you can use the cards. Um, remember always you can use this with your number board as well. So if they say 35, they need to identify where is 35 on the number board. Um, we then going to go to the different levels. So the concrete represent an abstract. Remember, if your child's still struggling, what you need to do is you need to do it concretely with them. Then what you're going to do is you can show them the pictures like in the worksheet. They give you the number. 
Um, and then you can ask them certain questions. So we work now from 31 to 39. So first, let's write these numbers from the smallest to the biggest ascending order. So look at this, pause the video, write it from smallest to the biggest, and then again, um, write it from the biggest to the smallest. Pause the video now. Welcome back. So now we're quickly going to look at the worksheet again. So but this time, what you did is you worked through the worksheet. Um, you already answered some of the questions and you already start some of the writing. Um, here are then the numbers that you filled in these little um, squares at the top. You need to write them from the smallest to the biggest. Now what you have here is you have a number 35. And the question is that you write two numbers that's smaller than 35 but are still in the 30s and then two numbers that are bigger than 35 that's still in the 30s. I'm going to go down. Now what you're going to do here is you don't always have to make a drawing like this. You could just circle the cubes into groups of tens and see what's left over and then you can write the number. So very important, first make little groups of tens, the loose ones you count individually and you write the answer. Here we always give you the opportunity to make your own. Here you're going to trace the numbers then. And then we come to the end of the lesson. Here again it's a problem. Um, read the problem, um, you can solve it or you can solve it with concrete materials, using concrete materials, make a drawing of the problem or you can simply use numbers. When we come then to the consolidation, um, again is if everything is clicked, ticked yes, um, you carry on. If some no, you need to revisit, revise or you can call us at SA Teacher.